Ah, Bahamut. So literally, they didn't kill a single god. Maybe Ifrit. But here's Bahamut. Shiva's still alive. But really, I wish the game was longer in the story department. The story needed to be longer. Have us hit every single god. Make every single god feel something the special. Of this world falls to the king of kings. His providence consecrated in the divine light of the crystal. So it is ordained the revelation of Bahamut. Okay. the darkness and abide in hope, sustained by faith unfaltering that their king shall arise and bring deliverance. The heart of the crystal, wherein lies the soul of the star, and it is in this place that the king will gain the power to fulfill his calling. By the covenants awakened, the six have seen the coming of the prophesied hour. A time when the crystal shall have shed the entirety of its light unto the ring. Only then, once the sacred ring is replete, can the true king complete his ascension? And only by the true king's hand can the immortal accursed be banished and the light restored to this world. It is the sole means to ending the immortal accursed. A power greater than even that of the Six, purifying all by the light of the crystal and the glaives of rulers past. Only at the throne can the Chosen receive it, and only at the cost of a life his own. Ooh, so I'm gonna die. Who is this accursed? Arden Azunia Kalem? Who was Azunia? With life eternal, whose immortality stems from the self same scourge that wrought the demons. One so impure of body and soul was deemed unworthy of the crystal's light and forbidden to ascend. His mind twisted by spite and bent on revenge, the usurper came to bring darkness down upon our world. Only the true king, chosen by the crystal and guarded by his forebears, can end the accursed's madness. The king of kings shall be granted the power to banish the darkness, but the blood price must There's already be paid with Nyx, you jackass. To cast out the usurper and usher in dawn's light will cost the life of the chosen. Many sacrificed all for the king, so must the king sacrifice himself for all. Now enter into reflection, let the light of providence shine within. <laughs> I'm just sitting in a ball floating in this place, I don't know what's going on. Is he shaking or is the... Oh, memories! But I wonder what the, wonder what the truth is behind Arden. Full. 
fuck does it mean? Did he actually save people from demonism? But then they're like, no, you shan't come to the light. And it's like, fine, then I'll just spread the demonism. Reclaim the throne and fulfill the calling of the true king. Also, how did my friends get through the door? If they're like, we're gonna close the gate, so you have to run all this way. And it's just like, no, my friends, what are they gonna do? What the fuck? What? I'm confused. Stone prison. Hello, Umbra. Where the hell am I? I have a beard and a mustache now. Umbra. I've hit puberty. What the hell? What it say? What it say, Jack Sparrow? Be waiting. In Hammerhead. Well, of course. As it starts, as it begins. The Chosen King's calling. All he needed was a beard! Chapter 14 incoming. Home... <laughs> incoming homecoming. Noctis leaves his prison to find himself on Angel Guard. His father's ship is moored at shore, none the worse for wear. It now comes him, carries him back to Golden Key. Back to his kingdom. What the hell happened? Sucked into crystal. Grows a beard! Years and years pass? Is the start of Dark Souls. Broly win? I'm a have a beard and a mustache. I'm a driving a boat, yet I still sound young. Man, how long was I out? World of Ruin, reunite with the others. As the world has been plunged into darkness. They're probably dead as fuck. Of course. That's... What is with... Demons everywhere. The you not being here. What the hell hit me? It's ethereal essence hit me. Do I have any festives ensemble? <laughs> no. That would be hilarious, but no. Uh, does that mean everyone I know is dead? Or demonized? Die, monster! You don't belong in this world. Die. Tonberry fool. You will feed me, skeleton. Feed me. No running! No running from your destiny. How about this? <laughs> you face not a mortal man. You face a stinking god! 
Let me out, let me out, let me out. Okay, no, screw you, you're all jerks. Come on in. No, not Lightning Man. I've had enough of Lightning Man. I wanted someone else. Aww. Lightning Man, you're my only summon. Also, why do you guys never come when I need you? There's only like one guy left, but I wanted to see the animation. Like, oh, maybe I'll get another, a different person. Nope. Same filthy animation. Pick it up. Yeah. Animation over. All the people are gone. It's like a zombie apocalypse happens. Like it's been years. Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin says bleh. Let's just end this now, shall we? Absorb into the nothingness void. That attack is completely stupid. And you guys are just annoying, so I have the magic spare die. May hopefully the chocobos still work, because that's going to be a long S drive. Really? Do you really want to go? My dear friends, I do not have the time. Instead, I wish you a nice eternity. Absorb him. What is even the point? Center fold. Center fold. Mind kneeling before me. And chocobos? No chocobos. Just monsters everywhere. Can I just whistle for chocobo? No. Just gotta run along. Ain't you bloody no, ugly. Ow. Fuck you, moving wall. Regalia destroyed. Suddenly, now we have level 84 walls. And just demons walking about like nobody's business. This is going to be a long, long walk. Screw you. Get 
you think some of those would have been destroyed? Just by age. Then again, I don't know how long it's been. Ten years. Ten years of monsters slowly growing stronger. What is it, boy? It's, it's car. Demon car. A truck. Teleport onto it. Hello. Yeah, it's me, uh, Talcott. Jesus Christ! My grandpa served the Amasidia family. Talcott? Yeah. No way. Yes way. Welcome back, your man. Wow. Time skip. I mean, I knew there was one, but. Yes, sir. That's that's right. Just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have <laughs> it in person. Okay, uh, we should be there shortly, sir. Convenient, but I'd say I like it. Like, hello. Wow. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah, you sure look different, though. You think so? Ten years. Grown some these ten years. Ten Took it ten years to grow <laughs> the guys must be measly right beard. Where are they anyway? Lestalem, more often than not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but... Uh, ah, he like slaz him. Road, she gives him a call. <sighs> oh, uh, speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime nonstop. The Lestalem still has light thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time, but it usually isn't for repairs. These days it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. The garage is still open, though. One of the few places that is. So, Sid, he's still alive and kicking. <laughs> he's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least, not since he moved out to a Stalem. Someone suggested he move the garage there too, but old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big fat chocobo turd of an idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. Sounds like Sid, all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way. So the garage will probably stay put for a while. And without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. This is world building. With all the demons prowling around, more folk were getting hurt. Or worse. So Iris talked the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and the others... They lend him a hand whenever... Even Iris is chained. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead. He tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Ignis? He hunts, too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. He said, if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while, but each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? We've arrived, Your Majesty. Everyone will be so happy to see you. Don't worry. I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I guess they got all those light bulbs so they can travel the roads without fear. Well, less fear. This is a tone shift. World pretty much okay, doesn't seem that bad, then BAM! And it wasn't thanks to the Empire.
fucking useless pansies. You guys don't look different at all. Well, hey. I need to closer look at your faces. Hey, that's all you have to say for yourself after all this time. <laughs> Knocked. It's you. It's really you. They have they have beards as well. Well, maybe not Ignis. You kept us waiting. Kept you waiting, huh? Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside. The final battle will commence once you leave Hammerhead. Be sure to be pre prepared. Wow, the final battle. Once it's all over. Study on the nature of photophilic particles. On examining multiple correlations between the photophilic particles responsible for the blight and the mutant strand of plasmodium, plasmodium Associated with the daemons, we have discovered a clear casual relationship. Furthermore, given the mass dispersal of photophilic particles upon death, the demon presence is likely accountable for the violent ecological shifts of late. Geophysical Survey of Atmospheric Conditions The presence of soot-like photophilic particles was confirmed in samples of air taken at varying elevations with notably higher concentrations at higher altitudes. Photophilic particles have begun to subsume the ozone layer, and the observed reduction of daylight on EOS can be attributed primarily to their light-absorbing properties. Do I have any quests? <laughs> you can still go do that if you want. <laughs> I wonder if I can head for a Lestalum. Got any new weapons this past 10 years? Hey. Durandal Hyperion. Finally something new to purchase. Radiant Lance. Radiant Lance. Main Gorches. Already got for you. Wait, what? Main Gorches. I thought you had... I guess these guys already upgraded their weapons while I was gone. See you later. So maybe I didn't have to buy two. Sorry, father, but I want Hyperion. Put on your black prince, you pansy. Why do you keep unequipping it? Well, welcome. Hey there, Umbra. Talcott said I could ask him questions. Now, where the hell did he go? In fact, whatever happened to. What was his name? I guess if I want to leave, I should just head towards. Hey. If I want to leave, just head towards the gate, and that'll be it. Return to Insomnia. I wish I could have gone to a stall him. And more than likely. Well, fellas, 
We're homeward bound at last. Time to suit up. Finally get to rock these threads. Wear them with pride. Yeah. Just hope they still fit. Hmm. Talking about new stuff or old stuff, what? New clothes? Finally cooking again. Big news. Uh, nobody's favorites on the menu? Let's see. Where's a good bonus? Uh... I like that. Finally cooking again. Are you sure that these ingredients you've had on you these past ten years are still fresh? Yeah, of course. I was in a weird time limbo. He's got a little goatee. <laughs> and then there's Noctis. Hasn't changed at all. All the others look nice and clean. Then there's him. Like a Monte Cristo type of dude. After ten long years of solitude, Noctis is reunited with his friends. Breaking camp for the final time, they return to Crown City of Insomnia, where the Chosen King will make his stand and restore the light to the world. Man, so it's, this is the end? Aw, oh, man. I thought there was going to be more. Very rushed ending so far. Just once we hit after all once we hit Altissa, it's story, 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 story. The only time you can ever get side quests is if you go back in time with the magical thanks of this little magical dog. I mean, come on. Granted, I already really did all the quests, or at least I think I did. Well, Besides the stupid, oh, you gotta go find this frog quest. Mer, 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 mer. Home sweet home. Yeah, at long last. What have we been waiting for? Sure is. Next stop, the Citadel. Yeah. Poor dudes. I've been fought together like this in ages. Really takes it back, doesn't it? We may have struggled before, but now nothing can stand in our way. And here's the final resting place. Wait, where's the final resting place? Down here, oh. Well, could catch some Z's here. Certainly. It's a spot worth taking note of. I kind of want to go back to old timey Lucius. Oh, yeah, old timey Lucius, and then. Just to see. Open the door. Oi. Call Umbra. Hey there, Umbra. Let's travel to past Lucis and see what happens. Oh, that's already cool. Oh. Oh. View Noctis's photos. 
because I do not like one the out of focus ones. Like that one. Bye bye. I like this photo. <laughs> it just looks like Noctis just striding through. Wave of his arm. Thing dead. Daemons. Appellation of organisms infected by a mutant strain of plasmidium malaria. Once introduced into a body, the photophobic parasites exert full control, rapidly distorting physiology and manipulating behavior so as to render their host's original forms virtually indiscernible, while also dispersing a light-absorbing miasma. They seriously went into the science of it all? They went into the science of it all! They went into the science of it all? <laughs> you amuse me. Mainly because I'm going back because I want to make sh I want to see if there's anything I might have missed of interest of coolness. The only th maybe do a few hunts, maybe level up once or twice. But the one thing that I really want to do is just to see. Hello. We don't look gold, but we got new digs. As well as things from the future. <laughs> King's Glaive outfit. King's Glaive garb. Talcott, you look young. Talcott, I got something awesome for you. Wait, this is... The Altitian Edition. What? But how did you... Whoa! He's like... Yeah! I <laughs> I... It's Cat For a moment, he's just like, wait a minute. How did he get back from Altissa... Or how did he go to Altissa to get this? It's like, never mind, Cactar! Little guy is seriously flipped. We're glad I picked it up for him. His joy surpassed all expectations. <laughs> Doggone it! We're chopping onions around here. Hey there. It's not perfect, but there's no place, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. But one thing I want to see is, I still want to know about that goddamn bird. And yay, we have the regal. Where the hell is the regalia? Um, car? Where is our car? Uh. Uh. Why is our car all the way up there? <laughs> what? Going back to the past has made weird alterations to the timeline. Somehow, we're here, even though our car is up near Vesperpool, even though we don't know where we left it last here in Lucis. Oh, was it because I went there to finish up all the quests and then I rested there heading back to Altissa to complete the story missions and that's where it saved it. Even though I went to the past and it popped me out there. That's funny to me. Like I said, we didn't get to explore demonized... Lucius and Eos. We just automatically went to King, King, to Clown, Clown City. <laughs> Not the Crown City. Clown City. Good old Noctis is gonna go. We're going to fight our big bad Izunia. His not name is Izunia. In fact, what did he mean? You'll never guess who Izunia's name was? Like, what did he mean by that? So apparently he took the Azunia name. Hey, I'm gonna hit the shop. Yeah, let's stock up on everything. We can 
make room by leaving you. I find it funny though that he put on the little knee brace even though he probably doesn't need it. Welcome, boys. Looks like you I am a god. Wanna put your skills to the test? Huh? The Rock of Ravato. Zoo! That's what I was looking for. This one, then. A special enemy to fight. Take care now. Yeah. <laughs> now. We go to fight Zoo! It's been a long time, my chocobo friend. But we have one less concurration to do. One final conquer. I'm going to go there. To the giant nest that I was scared of all those days ago. Even though there's technically that's going back to the past. So it would be technically years ago, game time. I am coming for my revenge. Over the mental terror that you have imposed upon me. To think... A lot has happened for me today. Purely in this game. Good morning, fellas. I started the day playing the stinking... Uh... There we go. This way. But yeah, I started the day doing the Moogle Chocobo uh, festival, carnival, whatever. And now I'm about to finish the game. Ah! Speak Sprechen the Deutsch. Sprechen up the Deutsch with all the little peaches. But I'm just going to say it. I am happy that I'm about to finish this game. <coughs> finish, I say. Beat the main storyline of this game. Ah, weather cleared up. For one reason only. Wait a minute. I've gotten the mark of... I got Titan's favor, Lightning Dude's favor, Bahamut's favor, Aquatic Person's favor, I think, and, uh, and Shiva's favor. Is Ifrit up in here? Yeah. Could it be that Ifrit's up here and if you go the right way you could get Ifrit's favor? Probably not because I think I went all over the place. Like, I mean, look. The only places I haven't really checked out is over here and here. But, um, but I knew it. I knew that there was a giant monster in there and I'm going to kill it. Just racking up. I just realized this is the best, probably the best way to farm AP is just get whatever perk allows you to do that and then find these low level creatures and just bash them again and again. No! Do not forsake me. I am your king. Ah, uh, from the future. Finally time. Closure on giant bird monster. Time for closure. This thing from the beginning of the game dies now. Circling for another pack. We might not have a choice. Head down to the battle area. Come on down, monster. Oh, you're already down here. Ah, 
I don't know see where I am. I'm scared. And he just like kicked me or something. Camera! The camera, ladies and germs. <laughs> Watch the enemy's movements. Bam! He <laughs> smashes it. How can I dodge if I can't see? The camera is atrocious. <laughs> see? Keep that camera. Don't stink and change it to... Camera sucks, camera sucks. Can't do shit cause camera sucks. Man, talk about ruining a f awesome boss fight. Oh, hi there, opening. Oh, invulnerable. And he did. Tinder and giant enemy is dead would have been a super awesome boss fight but then to screw up the camera angle turn this in then I guess return to the future because there's not really all that much left to do except the super duper you have to be like level a billion I killed the thing for you that you didn't even have a picture for drawing for how did you know you wanted to kill a giant bird you couldn't even have a child oh, sketch up the monster well I guess I'll just head off to the future I'll be in the future travel to past Altissa technically it's future Altissa in the placement of the current timeline I shall return to the future. I'll keep the Talkit. Hey, look, Talkit. Here's you in the future where we went back to the past to give you this thing that we got from the future of the past. Or something like that. Blast from the what the hell. But, before we continue, I have to head into the room so I can probably save. There we go. Unless it was just like a, you pause too soon. You can't say, you can't do anything because this is just the weird pause menu for, oh, you just tried to pause too soon or something like weird like that. 50 hours. <laughs> All of these are inside Zegnotis Keep. <laughs> Cure for insomnia. But before we actually go anywhere, I'm going to stop the recording for now, and we'll pick up in a little bit. Mainly because I don't want to have any problems exporting the audio this time. So, before the end, really Gladio, really, 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 before the end, we shall return one last time before saving the world once again. See, Gladio? Much better. You look like a bodyguard now. God damn it. So, I've been Neon Ice Wings. This has been Final Fantasy XV. And the next time we come, we shall go to the end. Tell stories.